Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome back to the podcast. Listen, this week, I want to talk about a movie that I went and saw last week called Sound of Freedom. And this week, I want to give you my honest reaction to the movie without giving out any spoilers, because I believe that if you are saved, not saved, especially if you have children, you need to go and see this movie. For those of you that have not heard about this movie, it is called Sound of Freedom. It is about a guy named Tim Ballard. He was a, a home, a Homeland Security investigator. He worked for Homeland Security. And what he did was his job was to catch pedophiles uh, and put them in jail. And as you watch this movie, like I said, I want to dig deep into it. Um, it causes him to go down a deeper rabbit hole and to make some sacrifices that, you know, many of us may not in that situation be willing to make. So with all that being said, I thought the movie was a great movie. I thought it was put together very well. And I think that it is something that you guys need to go and see. Maybe I'll wait a couple of weeks before I really dig uh, into it, but I really don't want to spoil it for those of you that have not saw it. And those of you that have not saw it, um, we have something special for you at the end of this podcast. So hang around because uh, maybe you don't have the means to go and see the movie, but we have something special for you at the end of this podcast. So stick with us because we want to be a blessing to you. And we also want to be a blessing to those that have sacrificed to make this movie. And those of you know, you know, stuff like this, I've talked about on the channel for a very long time about the importance of protecting our children. Uh, there was a podcast episode that I did, episode eight. And when you get a chance, you can go back and check it after you finish watching this. And the title of that podcast episode, for those of you that are not watching me uh, visually, it was Protecting Our Children, Pedophile Rings, Kidnapping, Sex Trafficking, child sacrifice. And it's one of probably the biggest podcasts that I have done because this is something that is is always talked about. This is something that is always at the center of many conversations. And a lot of times when you hear that last word, right, uh, that, that child sacrifice word, you know, that's when the lines get a little blurred because even with this movie, you know, we know sex trafficking and all that stuff is real. But when you start to talk about the things that are, you know, are believed by many that are happening to the children that are being taken outside of just, you know, manual labor, outside of just sexual labor. You know, there's all types of other things that are being put out there that is believed that is happening to these children. And when you start to hear that, you know, that's when people start being called conspiracy theorists. And, you know, it's just a bunch of conspiracy theories. But in that podcast episode, I talked about how these things are in the Bible, right? You know, there was nations that were sacrificing their children to Moloch or Molech. They're both the same. Some say Moloch, some say Molech, but it's it's the same deity. And they were sacrificing their children. As the Bible say, they were passing their children through the fire to this deity because of some of the things that you hear, the reasons why they believe that is going on to this day for power, uh, uh, for wealth. You know, like this is nothing new, guys. So that's why I wanted to touch on it in that podcast episode. And I think that's why it ended up being such a big episode. And, and, and I've gotten many comments and feedback because, you know, when you hear these things, it sounds kind of eerie. It sounds kind of weird. And it's like, oh, no, there's no way that, um, you know, uh, the, the people that we may look up to, whether that's movies, politicians, musicians, or whatever, the people that are being accused of it. And, and understand that I'm sure as many more people that are involved in stuff like this than, than the people that are being named, right? Probably people higher up in ministry that's not really doing God's will. Maybe just the regular Joe Schmo, um, you know, are, are involved in these things and doing some of these things that, you know, people are saying that they're doing. But the whole point is, is like, listen, think it not strange. This isn't a strange thing. This isn't something new when you hear these types of allegations. And I'm not here to confirm or deny whether it is going on. But I am here to let you know that, listen, this is nothing new. People have been 
sacrificing children, passing them through the fire. And when you read the scriptures, some of these people was doing this to their own children. So imagine people um, that are being accused of doing these things, that these are not even their children. Like, why do we think that this isn't a possibility? Like, if you've been living long enough and you've seen the different things that you've seen happen in this life, especially in this social media age, now that we're catching things on camera and seeing people do things in real time, it's like, listen, I don't put anything past anybody, especially understanding spiritual things and understanding where we are in this world and how the scripture says that the world is passing away and the closer it gets to his death, the worst things are going to get. But with that being said, Sound of Freedom, I think it is a must see. Um, it can definitely uh, hit some emotional chords. Uh, my wife, she was not able to go and see it because she thought it, she just felt it was going to be too much for her. I had a friend of mine that went in and saw it and he said he didn't even realize how much he tensed up, you know, just watching the movie. So it is definitely um, very heart touching. It, it definitely, if you have children, it hits home, but this is why I've talked about this stuff over and over in the past. Not so much about this, the theories of what's happening, but the, the need and the importance of protecting our children. I see some people, you know, they're really real loose with their children. Let them go anywhere. Let them wander. It's like, do you understand where we are? And, and, and the type of time that we're living in. And this is not to be in any fear. And, you know, you got to everything your child do, you got to be, but you have to be aware and you do have to question things like we, we just can't be lackadaisical with our kids. So we're not talking about a being afraid type thing. Like as I'm talking to you guys right now, my sons are at camp and they actually went to a place called Urban Air. So they get out and about, they do things. So I'm not talking about just keeping a hold on our children, but really investigating anything that they're going to be involved in, the people that they're going to be involved with. It is very important, guys, because you just don't know what people are doing in this day and age. But when you get a chance after this podcast, go and check out episode eight. I think uh, our podcast episode eight. I think it will be an encouragement to you and open your eyes to some things, right? Because what we see in this country, especially in the United States, when people start talking about some of these things that's going on, what is the first thing they do? They snap, they get a picture of them, put a tinfoil hat on their head and say, oh, they're just a conspiracy theorist, right? I just saw a video that popped up. I believe it was two days ago uh, of an actor and I'm not going to say his name, but it was an actor. And he had recorded a video of him basically outing the people that were involved. Now, understand, he's in the industry. These are things that have happened to him. So now he's here on camera as an older man outing people, saying names. And when I tell you he's saying names, I'm talking about some of your favorite, you know, some of our favorite actors and maybe some of our favorite movies. You know, I mean, he's he's going down the line. I mean... To the point where it's like, man, this is insane. And something he says in the video, he says, listen, and I am not suicidal. This comes out of this guy's mouth. I am not suicidal. And what ends up happening? He ends up just so happening, jumping off a bridge, you know, and supposedly some people tried to stop him. Supposedly he left some type of Instagram post. And it's like, this is this is why you have these theories. This is why people are very cautious, because a lot of times these things don't make sense. Have you ever seen the movie Kill the Messenger um, where the guy, he outed, you know, how the drugs was being brought in the country and all of these different things. And I don't even want to spoil that just in case you want to go and see that, but just how he died, it just doesn't make sense. So when you hear these things, right, you know, don't, don't, don't keep, don't have your head in the clouds. We, we, I'm not saying you should go and investigate it and go down that rabbit hole because listen to me, I've done this years ago, dug into things, and it will bring you down into a deeper a deeper rabbit hole. I no longer do that anymore. I may look into some things, but my focus now is, is spreading the word, encouraging people, you know, to get saved because I understand where the world is going. But when I went and looked up this individual's um uh his Wikipedia because I wanted to know a little bit more about his death and how he died and all that. Lo and behold, it named everything that he did as an actor. And at the end of it, it, it said and he was a conspiracy theorist. Like it's like it, there's no that's no coincidence that that will be put in his in his Wikipedia because it is want to be made. It, it wants they want us to believe whoever they are, 
that listen, when people start talking like this, that they're bugging, but it's in the Bible. This is nothing new. People have been doing crazy things to children since the beginning of time. And just because you hear the word conspiracy theory does not mean that it is not true. Listen to the definition of conspiracy theory, a theory that rejects the standard explanation for an event and instead credits a covert group or organization with carrying out a secret plot. So it doesn't mean that it's not true, but it it is saying that somebody is behind the scenes carrying out this plot. And if you lived long enough, we've seen many um, conspiracies um, that we've heard about in the past that have come to light and, and we found out them to be true. So whoever at that time was screaming from the rooftops, I'm telling you, this is going on. And they put the tinfoil hat on them. And then 20 years later, we find out that it is true. This is the type of things that are going on today when it comes to these conversations about sex trafficking, about, you know, child sacrifice, about kidnapping. If you guys remember, if you've been living long enough, there was a time years ago when I was younger that they would put missing children on the back of milk cartons. If you lived in the United States years ago if and, and, and you've lived long enough, you remember this. They used to put children on the back of milk cartons that was missing. And all of a sudden it just stopped. And there was a, a there was a rumor out there, or it was said that the reason why they stopped doing it because it was discouraging and the numbers of missing children is just something that, you know, they don't really want us to know and understand how terrible it is, especially in the United States when it comes to children. And when you go and check out this movie, you know, and like I said, I'm not going to get into the details of it. But one thing I will say is that this industry, this sex trafficking industry, this this child trafficking industry, they say is a hundred. Um, this human trafficking injury, in, uh, industry is a hundred and fifty billion dollar a year industry. Do you understand how much money that is? That's more than McDonald's, all of these different corporations. But these are human beings that they are doing this to. And it is mainly children. And it doesn't it doesn't make sense how, you know, we've become so desensitized to it and we don't want to talk about it or we let people make us think like it's not there. Right. And, and, and just, oh, it, it, you know, don't worry about it. Just continue to trust me with your child. You know, it's like, no, we have to be on our P's and Q's out here, guys. And I'm not talking about fear. Once again, we're not talking about being afraid. We're talking about being aware, right? We know the scripture says, be sober and vigilant, right? We're talking about not being asleep and being on point. But if you go back, I've, I've, I've watched a few different videos um, of the testimonies of those that are involved in the movie. And one of the things that I found out watching one of the guys testify or, or tell his testimony about this whole process is that this movie was made like five years ago. And this is how hard it's been being fought to come out. Something that, right, that we all know is going on. So why is it being fought against so hard? But it's because the enemy don't want this to come out, right? He don't want people to know the truth. And that's why you have to go and see it. And that's why we're going to spread this and encourage people like, listen, be aware where your children are, be on point, be focused because it's serious business out here. It's not a game. If I'm not mistaken, uh, why the guy was explaining the whole process of it, I believe that Disney owned it originally and they sold it. And it's like, well, why wouldn't Disney, the one that is promoting constantly to our kids, why wouldn't they want to put this movie out? I mean, I'm, you know, I can't say either here or there, but that's just something to think about, right? Like, it's a coincidence, but it's not a coincidence. And and with that, with all that being said, I'm just saying, like, be aware, guys. Don't walk around out here with your head in the clouds. Don't be nonchalant with your children. Pray with them. Talk to them. Make them aware of the different things and the different dangers that are around them while still encouraging them to have fun and be children. But before I close out this podcast, what I did want to say to you guys is, once again, go and see the movie. Um, you won't regret that you went and saw it, you know, just for educational inf- and information purposes. You might be a little, you know, heartbroken by seeing it and it, it may hit you in a sensitive way, but I still encourage you to go and see it. But what I wanted to announce is that we will be giving out tickets to go and see this movie wherever you are 
in your area, the people that created and 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 uh, uh, did the movie Sound of Freedom, they have made it possible where, you know, different people, if you want, even you can can buy tickets and be a blessing to somebody else um, so that they can go and see the movie um, and go and see what's really going on out here. So if that is you, if you want um, us to uh, send you some tickets, we'll find out. Uh, you can just email us at in the word seven at gmail.com. And then that way we can find out where you are and how we could get those tickets to you, because I'm sure we can email it to you. We just want to make sure that, you know, when we send them to you, uh, whatever movie theater that you plan on going to, that everything will be, you know, solid. You won't, you won't get to the movie theaters and have some type of problem, but we want to be a blessing to you in that way where we give out some tickets to those of you that have supported this podcast and supported this channel. So listen, know that I love you guys. As you can see, um, this thing has me a little wired and a little emotional because this is something that I've talked about for, for a long time and not from, from what people call the conspiracy theory side, but from just the side of protecting our children, what the scriptures say about the children and why the children are so important. And if you want to know once again, what that is, go and check out podcast number eight and the title of it. For those of you that may be listening in your car and you want to go to YouTube later or, or type it into uh, one of the podcasting platforms in the word podcast, it's episode eight. And the title is protecting our children, pedophile rings, kidnapping, sex traffic and sacrifice. Yes, that is the whole title. So go and check that out. But know that I love you guys. And once again, our email address is in the word seven at gmail.com for those tickets. So know that I love you guys. Go and check out the movie. And until the next time we get together on the podcast, Shalom. <laughs>